Dear friends, and welcome again for this week's video. Today I'm going to reply with a second part to something you have been asking uh, after my short about the recording of uh, uh, video, how, video voice and guitar all together using your smartphone right after the intro. <coughs> Okay, as we said, today's topic is how to record a video with your smartphone using, of course, Nuex Mighty Plug Pro in this case, and uh, be able to record together the video from your camera, the audio from your voice, the backing track you're gonna play with the very same smartphone, and also your guitar through the Nuex Mighty Plug Pro. So. It's something that uh, many of you have been asking for um, a lot of times. Uh, it's possible, it was possible. You may remember that I created a video some time ago when I explained how to do something similar using the Nuex Mighty Air, but in that case it was not possible to record the voice and the backing track together. So now we have uh, something more av made available by the new tooling. First of all, let's have a look at the hardware we need, of course. Android smartphone in this case. I'm gonna try and check also the possibility with iPhone, but this video is focusing on Android. Android smartphone, a USB-C to USB-A cable, some headphones uh, with a mic, like these ones. So these are the regular earphones uh, <laughs> shipped together with your smartphone, so you don't need to purchase uh, anything different. Cable ones uh, with jack input. Of course, you need a USB on the go cable. That is something that uh, I've been mentioning in other videos before this one because the, it is uh, uh, needed to interface uh, the Nuex Mighty devices that has a USB port to your smartphone or even your computer if you want it. But if you're using the, your smartphone, it is uh, necessary. It's uh, a cable, they, name, they are named USB OTG, OTG on the go. And, are, and they look like that. You have a, a port that is compatible with your smartphone on one side. In my case, my smartphone has a USB-C port, and so this one match here. And a female USB-A port on the other side. You will find a lot of uh, versions uh, online, uh, in, in Amazon, uh, AliExpress, whatever. If they are mentioned as USB on the go, uh, any should work uh, without particular problem unless you have a very old version of Android. If you have Android like uh, uh, version uh, 4, probably is not uh, gonna work. You will need something uh, uh, more recent, but if you have a modern uh, smartphone, that it would not be a problem. And of course, uh, you will need uh, the Mighty Plug Pro. This is uh, what is mentioned uh, for the hardware. So now, let's see how we need to connect this one. In the meantime, I'm moving the smartphone out uh, of the screen, but don't worry, I'm going to show you it here. So uh, just make, uh, just be patient. As I need to connect it uh, to the rest uh, of the system, I will not be able to... Uh, um, it will be a little uh, slow in the update of the screen, so just uh, be patient for that. Uh, you, need, you, see, you see, if I, I'm uh, using the USB port for the connection, so I cannot use it also to transmit the screen to the recording. Nevertheless, to connect the devices, it's uh, very simple. And it is impossible to make a mistake because there are no, uh, no different uh, possibilities. <laughs> it's uh, a one side, you see, we have a USB-C, a USB-A male that match uh, the female on this uh, adapter. The adapter needs to go into the smartphone. Make sure not to switch them the other way around. I did it, by the way, and then I was messing around. Why is it not working? <laughs> it was because of that. Of course, you will need to connect this USB-C to your Nuex Mighty Plug Pro. And for the headphones, of course, you just need to plug them as usual in the female jack for Nuex. Uh, Mighty Plug Pro. So it's very simple and we have uh, all the system already connected. So let me show better this mess. Otherwise, <laughs> it is difficult for you to follow the meaning. 
but in any case connect it like this and you're fine with that so i'm covering the smartphone with this regular screen that is appearing here once you are fully connected with the cables you will also need to make sure that uh, the your device and x mighty uh, plug pro is also connected through bluetooth to your smartphone because uh, uh, this is the way you we are gonna play the backing track the smartphone is sending the the song through Moex Mighty Plug Pro exactly as it would be a Bluetooth speaker. So let's turn it on. Pair it with the regular Bluetooth. So it's important that you double check that it is connected through the regular Bluetooth. Sorry, to, as I told you, it's very slow the update of my smartphone screen. You see that I'm connected with my as Mighty Plug Pro with the regular Bluetooth. You must remember that all these devices, including UX Mighty Air and all the, the rest of this uh, line, have a two type of connection: uh, new, uh, Bluetooth Audio and Bluetooth MIDI. Bluetooth Audio is used for, for this purpose to play from the from the smartphone or in general a device that can push audio through. Bluetooth to the device, so you can hear music, you can uh, uh, you can uh, play your backing track and everything else. Instead, uh, Bluetooth MIDI is the connection used by the application to control the device, uh, like uh, in whatever you use, uh, being that uh, Mighty Air or Mighty 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 Air Amp, sorry, or Mighty Air uh, Amp, the app developed by Tutori. You will, in both cases, you will need to connect uh, through Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth MIDI. So let me, in fact, uh, show you this. Be, again, just be patient with the, the, the refresh of the screen. Okay, if I uh, open my tier amp, you know that I favor this one. Now you see it is connecting again. You have seen that it was already connected to the smartphone. So we have two different connections, two different connections. One for playing audio from the smartphone, from the smartphone. <laughs> to the device and the other one for the communication with mini commands between the device and the smartphone and back so when you change the preset for example in the app you are using the bluetooth midi connection not the audio connection so you can have both by how can i show you that for example if i completely kill my tier hump and uh, let you see Let you see again my screen. Give me a moment. Okay, my screen. As I said, uh, I can show you that if I just uh, open uh, any any device, any any application, including, for example, Bluetooth, if you, uh, YouTube, uh, if you like. By the way, if I go to and uh, play this, uh, I'm gonna hear it from the from, this, from the, the device itself. So this is what, uh, what I meant for playing the audio. Okay, now that we have uh, configured uh, the hardware connection, I would say, well, some software speaking of uh, the connection through, um, through Bluetooth, uh, it is uh, time to say what we are gonna use uh, for the software, what you will need for the software. Uh, we will need, in particular, two specific apps. Uh, one is, uh, I prefer to use Mightier Amp. I'm going to tell you in a moment why. The, there is an advantage that uh, uh, is very practical with uh, to, to, for our purpose. So recording a video when we are playing guitar, where we are playing guitar, and, uh, and so on. Uh, so I prefer to use Mightier Amp. Why? Because uh, we can keep it uh, in the background playing the gem track but also we can control the gem track using bluetooth pedals like the uh, my the my like them wave chocolate something that i have been describing in many videos so have a look at guitar 4 guitar 5 if you are curious about that specific device because in this particular case it will be very practical to have this possibility i'm not gonna show you the details during this video but i'm speaking of this kind of controller it's a pedal controller that allows us to 
stop and start the MIDI track even some uh, probably uh, it is also possible to change uh, the tempo the volume uh, break it uh, make it loop uh, controlling it uh, without uh, having the screen and this is very practical because this way you can keep in the foreground the other application we are going to use to record that is open camera this one uh, and start it, start it and stop it without having problem in, in starting the backing track at the right moment. This way you can start the recording, push a button to start the backing track, record your, your playing and then stop the recording. You don't have to find the methods to, to understand how to synchronize between your playing and the backing track according with the starting of recording. Of course, you can always start the recording earlier, then the backing track comes up, you record and then can cut what's, uh, what's left, but nevertheless, this is, can be very practical. Consider that also this way you can record uh, through different applications as well. Well, uh, as I said, I'm going to use Mighty Ramp for, uh, uh, for this purpose. So, have a look on how to configure, to use it to configure what we need on the Mighty Plug Pro. So let's open Mighty Ramp. Okay, let's wait it for connect uh, for connection to uh, Mighty Plug Pro. Okay, now let's push settings. So the last tab, and we need to do some minor uh, configurations that are important. Otherwise, nothing is going to work. So USB audio setting is the first option we want to select. Please push it. USB audio settings and you will be welcomed by this uh, screen. This screen uh, is uh, very similar to what you will find in the same option in Mighty Amp but it is much uh, better explained uh, by Tuntori. You see that there is a picture that shows you for every selection you make uh, normal, reamp, dry out it shows you where the input and output of USB are placed according to the selection in the FX chain. For example, with normal, you see that the output, the USB output, is sent after the FX chain. So the FX are applied. If I select dry out, it is the output is before the FX chain. So I have the perfectly clean guitar played through the USB and the return of USB. So if I play something through, through USB from your computer, for example, it is going directly to the output. If I select the reamp, this is another option particular. There is, I have a specific video about this topic, but nevertheless, it means that uh, you take a, a file from the computer. You see that the guitar is completely detached, is isolated in this case. So you take the, an already recorded file, make it, uh, uh, make the device elaborated through the effect chain and then uh, give the output uh, back uh, through USB. So it's the possibility to reapply some effects on a dry on a dry signal. What we will need today is normal, and that guarantee that we record the guitar, including its effect chain applied the preset you're going to select. But also an important option to activate is loopback. So uh, activate it. This way you have. Uh, uh, another another uh, desired result. This is an advantage that Mighty Plug Pro, for example, has compared to older devices like Mighty Air or Mighty Plug uh, 2. That is uh, the possibility to play through the USB, also what the device is receiving through Bluetooth, the backing track in this particular case. So this way you can record also the backing track. If this is deactivated, you will hear the, the backing track in the headphones, but they will not be recorded through USB. As considering that, generally speaking, we want to record everything all together, this is the option for you. So turn it on. And this is all for USB audio setting. Generally, you see that there are the possibility to change between, uh, to mix uh, dry and wet, uh, or uh, select the recording, uh, uh, the recording level between uh, for the output or for the for the playback uh, generally speaking you don't need to change anything in, and it's working like a charm so in case you wanted to hear more effect, effect supplied or so you can probably decide where to place the selection for the combination between dry and wet so the clean guitar and the effect supply okay being said this we can go back and another important thing that we need to select is Microsoft, Microsoft settings. I found that it was not in the 
best uh, situation. When I started it the first two time, it was on mute, so I was not able to record the, the mic. So make sure that mute is deactivated. The mic level, you need to make some testing, so to record or so. Generally speaking, I don't need to keep it high, very high to have a clear, uh, a clear signal, but it depends on your mic. I'm using the stupid mic that it is connected directly to the earphones, and so I needed to keep a low level. And sometimes it is also possible to apply a noise gate. Consider that uh, the noise gate uh, has the is uh, uh, something that uh, creates a level uh, to start the recording. If uh, the so there is a noise that is below the level you, you selected, that is the gate sensitiv sensitivity, uh, it will not pass through the filter. If it is uh, above, it will pass. So if you have some background noise, low background noise you want to filter, this is the possibility to do it. Gate decay, on the other hand, is generally a, gate, a noise gate, uh, as you may know, know already, is uh, when you go above the level, then you will probably fall below that level. Uh, the gate decay tells you what is the new level where the, mm, the playback will stop again, so when the voice will be cut again. Generally speaking, you need to keep them more or less at the same level, or sometimes uh, maybe if you want, uh, uh, if you want to, to, to hear also some uh, um, voices that are going down you can make uh, the gate sensitivity high so this way you can you need to play hard, hard to, to, to sing harder to, to make it start but then if you lower your voice it takes time before it is cut it again you can experiment but nevertheless middle levels are okay I'm not using it at the moment but make sure that you're not on mute this is what you need to do for configuring Mighty Ramp uh, Mighty Plug Pro and uh, being able to record both the guitar through USB and your voice uh, through the mic uh, of the headphones. Of course, you need to have the mic combined with, the air, with your earphone, earphones uh, because the connection is a single jack, or you need to have a split. There are some devices that can split between uh, the mic signal and the headphone signal through this connection. So they have just one male that is connected here, and then you have two females uh, where you can connect on one side uh, the headphones for monitoring and on the other side the microphone for recording. Now that we did with my tear amp, let's close it. So let's close the Mighty Ramp and let's go to the other application we will need, Open Camera. Open Camera is not uh, a great, uh, is not a strange uh, or particular uh, um, device, uh, app application. It's an application used to record. It can replace your regular camera, nothing sp specific. You may ask me, why using this instead of your regular camera? You can make a test also with your regular camera and uh, you may be lucky, but the point is, uh, uh, considering that uh, the, the, the Mighty Plug Pro is what we want to record because we want to record through this mic uh, to the USB and uh, all the signal is sent through the USB, we want uh, the application to record all the audio, so voice, uh, guitar and everything, from USB. Uh, with your regular camera application, it may not be possible, it depends. It depends on different smartphones, on different uh, manufacturers. So I cannot tell you this is working, this is not, you need to try. So you may be lucky, you can, you can have uh, luck also with your regular uh, camera. With open camera, in any case, you can select what is the input and that is the great advantage of this application. If you press the gear on the top uh, right corner, so the, the, the settings. Oh, sorry, this is in Italian. <laughs> my, my, uh, give me a second, I'm switching it to, to English. This way probably it's easier for you to understand. We're back. You see now it's in English. <laughs> I think that you may be uh, favored to, to follow me. Okay, what we need to select is video settings because we need to select the, 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 the configuration from the video. You can change a lot of things, the resolution or so, feel free to do it. It's important to look at the middle area where there is record audio that must be on like this. And then you can select the audio source. Generally speaking, what you want to select is external mic if present. This way you can select the audio source coming from the external. If you select the camcorder, generally you obtained uh, you obtain to record uh, through the regular mic uh, of the device uh, and that's probably not what you want uh, to, to obtain. So generally speaking, external mic uh, is your best choice. 
One note, one, one uh, warning. In some devices, uh, I don't know why, but I tried with three different smartphones and I have uh, different, uh, I have the different results. It happens that uh, they may be switched. So when you are expecting that camcorder is uh, the device, the, the, the smartphone mic, and the external mic is uh, what is coming from USB, sometimes they are switched the other way around. You just need to, keep, to, to, to try both of them. It's easy to test. You just need to, to go back and uh, record something speaking into the, the mic, and, or if you want also playing the guitar, and you will obtain the recording of both, uh, of both uh, these, uh, these possibilities. So, what, uh, doing this, uh, we have the application ready. How do we, are we recording? We select uh, Mighty Ramp. Okay, let's wait it for to connect uh, again. Then we can uh, uh, select uh, Gem Tracks, uh, that is the backing track you can play, and you can uh, make uh, one of those uh, go through the system. Now it is played through, um, through NUX uh, Mighty Air. If I go then to open camera, I can start recording and our also the, the audio coming from the mic and from the, uh, from the guitar will uh, come up. Of course, I need to connect everything to, to this. So just a moment, I'm changing my position and let you see what is the final result of this configuration. And here we are ready to roll with the Mighty Plug connected, USB cable connected this very smartphone, my headphones, and you, you see, you can hear the mic from here, and this is how it is supposed to work, you hear my voice from here, and now let's start a backing track and play on... Okay, I think you got an idea. So this is, was the sample juice, just to let you see that it is possible to record guitar, voice and video all together. Stay with me for a moment because there are some tips and tricks. And I'm back. Before leaving you, after the sample you have seen, so you have proof, I would like to leave you uh, a couple of uh, tips uh, that, in my opinion, are uh, very helpful to avoid some head edges uh, when doing this. Okay, first of all, use uh, average or good quality headphone, uh, earphones. Uh, I had a bad experience with some earphones with, which had uh, a bad insulation here between the mic and the uh, audio going to the, to the earphones because uh, they, there were a mix of them and so there was a return of what was played within the mic so it was impossible to use the mic because it became noisy and noisy and was really unusable so just make sure to use something that if you have this kind of problem so you hear a, a sort of whistle very strong when you activate the microphone so every time that going in mighty ramp for example and uh, uh, setting the setting the, the mic, uh, you, if you hear a, a strong whistle in the microphone settings, uh, whenever you remove the mute, uh, it can be due to this. So try changing your headphones for, for reducing that, uh, that uh, possibility for happening. Second tips, second tips. <laughs> okay, uh, when uh, uh, consider that uh, you can play also the drum machine to the system, not only the backing track, so it's usable also to have that. Uh, third one that I think will be very helpful for you. Remember that in the track, in the Gem Tracks uh, um, page, you can select the gain of the track and the gate of the and, and the volume of the amplifier. This way, you can level the guitar and uh, the backing track course not your voice for that you will need probably to lower both or increase both to obtain a good uh, equilibrium but that is also settable here if you go again 
in the options for USB, remember loopback if you want to record the backing track. The mix between dry and wet is uh, uh, to create, uh, to, can also affect the balance between the backing track and uh, your guitar. So just moving this slider you can obtain to strengthen the guitar or uh, the backing track. Generally speaking, when it is uh, at max, you hear the high volume of the backing track and the guitar is uh, muted. On the other side, it's exactly the, the, the opposite. If you keep it at the center, as I suggested at the beginning of this video, uh, you will uh, set the balance uh, with the other volumes, but this is uh, an easy fix uh, in case uh, there is uh, uh, the need to, to create a sort of balance or make maybe the backing track uh, come up better than, uh, than before. Okay, there is uh, another thing that I would like to show you that is very helpful when recording. Remember that if you have uh, open camera and uh, also my ramp, you always have uh, in Android the possibility to combine them. Both of them bears, uh, you see, the, the, um, the split of the screen. This way it's much easier to have the backing track ready, start it or stop it immediately after you started or stopped the recording. So very helpful. And that is what I did to record the video you have just seen. And the last uh, tip that I would like uh, to leave you, it's uh, very helpful in my opinion, let's return to my tier amp. Remember that if you are using gem tracks uh, for my tier amp and uh, you did uh, maybe a selection on the, on the tracks, uh, I select one, you have an editor. Uh, it can happen, this created to me some mistakes sometimes. It's very helpful for uh, practice, but can be important to, to take note of that. It is possible to edit which is the preset that will be started at the beginning. So edit, uh, you see, in edit initial parameters. It allows you to select the preset that the system will launch, will select automatically when playing this backing track. Uh, make sure that uh, you don't make a mistake here or you have the right selection. Otherwise, the risk is to do as I did, that I needed to redo my recording because I selected the preset I wanted, but when the backing track was started, it was switched by this uh, setting. So these are some tips uh, that I believe you needed to know because they can be very helpful to avoid you some uh, problems. In any case, uh, I would like to say, well, this is uh, an helpful uh, um, possibility that the device provides. You may have hear, heard by my sample that, uh, of course, the quality is not top notch. It's not exactly a professional uh, um, audio card or, or something like that. So you cannot expect uh, the best of the best uh, from, from this device. It's already incredible how many uh, possibilities it provides uh, in such a small package and uh, it's uh, such an affordable price. So in my opinion, in any case, this is uh, really uh, a, good, uh, a good addition to the toolings for any guitarist. In any case, uh, you can use it uh, on the go very easily, you can use it with just your smartphone, some cables, uh, the, the plug, uh, your guitar. So it's perfect in my opinion to save ideas to record something or when you don't have uh, uh, intention to create professional uh, playing, professional recording, but you just maybe want to create a video to push uh, through uh, Instagram. Uh, uh, TikTok or something like that. So it's up to you for, for what, what you're gonna do with, with this, but for short um, that you're gonna send it to YouTube or so on. So very interesting, as I said, of course, if you want uh, to obtain a professional result, uh, you need to look uh, somewhere else. Okay, so, uh, being said this, uh, thank you again for watching to everybody. I'm renewing to you the invitation for next week's uh, video. I will uh, do my best to publish every single week as a uh, in the past. Uh, if you have any questions, doubts, uh, or uh, something to share, suggestions again, or correction if you would like to mention because it's possible that I made some mistakes, just let me know in the comments. I will uh, reply, I will do my best to reply to, to everybody. And uh, 
if you believe that uh, this video and other video in my channel are interesting and you want to be updated when there is something new please uh, subscribe leave me a like I, it's uh, the best uh, the best reward for me to for, for my for these activities consider that i do it in my spare time and <laughs> it is uh, completely free from from my side I, i'm not paid for this uh, or so so my only uh, compensation is to know that uh, you found my video helpful interesting and uh, you like uh, the, the the contents i'm providing in the channel so being said this thank you again for watching see you next time bye bye